And here, for some reason, they always have this pride telephone box as well. Nice guy. It reminded me of somewhere in America. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a fly screen. Yes. yes. You've not put it on here. Eh? Oh, it's come off then. I did. The tape. And this is what we've come for. They did have two left. Oh, and there's the one. Not a good start, Elon. Welcome to a new vlog. Just getting our shoes on and getting ready to go out. We've got to go down to Halford's, is it? Yep. In you booked Hull. it. Um, yeah, I booked it yesterday because we want them to check for any leaks in the aircon um, air conditioning unit on the van. Because we think we've got a leak. We had it gassed last year. We had it gassed last year, and then when it went into the garage for some jobs and work to be done the mechanic said your aircon is faulty and it's all gone it's leaking he said so uh, we are going to take it down now just to get them to check it diagnostic diagnostic and then hopefully they can fix it regas fix it why are we, why are we like scrunching <laughs> down um and um so there we go so is it time to set off yes let's go and of course it's raining again i'm getting sick of it now so yes, I'll explain a little bit better now we're in the car. We had the aircon regassed last year and it was, after work we bought it. Yeah, it was working perfectly. We did that at ATS Europe um, and everything was working. Then we took it into the garage, the van, and the mechanic says, we think we've got, you've got a leak on your aircon because it's just not working. Um, so yes, I booked it yesterday. We're going to Halfords. It's £39, I think, for an aircon diagnostic for them to check for any leaks, any problems, etc. Put nitrogen in and see what nitrogen, they're interested in. Yeah, that's right. And then they give us a call and tell us if there's any problems and then ask us if we want it to be regassed, which obviously we, we're going to have to have it done. So I think it's about £59 or so. I'll let you know afterwards we've paid it for the regassing as well. So absolutely cheapest today is going to be no, no short of a hundred quid. Yeah. drop the van off and we're gonna just try and find somewhere to shelter because it's very windy. Didn't even bother doing me air this morning. I don't know why. Um, we're so off to spoons. Are we off to spoons? Yeah. Oh, it's 15 a... minute walk from here. Oh, that's not too bad. Some nice graffiti here in um, Hull. It's quite a lot of graffiti around Hull. And uh, well, I suppose in any major city there is, but- uh, Street art. Street art, yeah. Some really good ones all the way down there. Must take them hours. Here. Easy down. Yeah. Up, Must lift up, yeah, for uh, yeah. Never seen that ever. This is an impressive building. I don't know what it is. Never really seen it before because we don't really walk around Hull, do we? I think it's the courts. And for everybody who didn't know that in Hull you don't get red um, telephone boxes, you get cream ones. That's because there's no British Telecom in Hull. No, it's, it's KCOM. It's the only place in the country that's privately owned. By uh, Kingston Communications. Correct. Uh, what is this building, did you say? Is it the town hall? I think it's the courts. Ah, very impressive. And here, for some reason, they always have this pride telephone box as well. That's been there for years. Well, as we've got an hour or so to kill, we thought we'd uh, come to Weatherspoons and get some food. Why not? 200 not calories first. To breakfast we had some time to kill so we looked on google to find out a local barber with good reviews and we ended up in this quaint little barber shop called bernard's barbers right haircut we we'll definitely recommend that place if you're in hull for a haircut bernard's barbers nice guy it reminded me of somewhere in america yeah just how uh, how we had it all set up like a he was the spitting image of our friend peter uh oh, a little bit yeah. i think yeah so uh, we've not had a call yet from the uh, no. from Halford, so uh, we're just going to find it's been something way to over, do. Well, about an hour and a half. It's yeah. supposed to take thirty minutes. Um, it did say it had another van in before us, so uh, we'll go get some food because we need some for tonight's tea. Right, we're chilling, killing time in Costa. So we just got skinny flat white decafs and a uh, lemon drizzle to share. That's straight after his uh, lunch at um, Weatherspoons. Right, so this 30 minute um, regassing job and diagnostic has so far almost taken three hours. It's almost three hours later. 
And yeah, it's more than that. Well, it's half past one, it's half past twelve, two. one, two. Yeah. So almost three hours later. They haven't even, they haven't even phoned us yet. So Nick phoned them and they said, oh yeah, we're just going to start looking at it now. About an hour ago. And they said it would be 30 minutes. Yeah. And we hadn't heard from them again in an hour. So we're walking back now. We'll just uh, loiter we'll around loiter. their waiting area, hopefully, to speed them up. Right, we're currently sat in the van freezing because the aircon is working again. They said it had no leaks, um, it just needed regassing. And we said, well, how come we had it regassed less than a year ago? And he said it just sometimes uses that much and sometimes it, it can not be empty. He said it, he said it might be below the pumps kicking threshold. Yeah, level. it might just be below the pump thing. Uh, so that cost a grand total of, let me have a look, the aircon diagnostic, this is with Halfords, aircon diagnostic was 34.99 and the regassing which took them literally five minutes if that. Not even that, seconds. No, was 65 pounds, so a total of, where's the total? Bottom of page. Uh, oh, 65 pounds because we'd already paid 34.99, yeah. So a total okay. of 99.99. Just show them 100 then. Yes, so um, that's some more money gone on the van. Um, we got some bits and bats from Tesco for tonight's meal, and we're just heading back to the lodge now. We had his haircuts, as you saw, when we were out. So that's another job done. Right, we're back in the lodge. Well, I am. Lee's gone out again, he's gone to get his prescription. Um, I just got a text message just as we were driving back to the lodge to say that the lady that's doing the blind has finished sewing them. So when Lee gets back, we're gonna go try it in the van. Fingers crossed, I cut it right and um, stitch the staples on right. If not, we're gonna have a short blind or a long blind, whichever. And also, we've had another delivery. Uh, Lee's office desk stool turned up. It was supposed to have a two week lead time and it came in 24 hours. So I'm gonna just about to assemble that so it's ready for him when he gets back. So as we um, always go with tradition, we went for gray because it matched the other grey things in there, but it was like an anthracite grey, so almost black, which is fitting for an office chair. Let's get the legs out, and then I can get the um, the back bit out. So it's not too dark. Let me show you there. It's like a, a fake leather, greyish, dark grey, which will be fine. Right, so I'm going to assemble it. Comes with the, uh, the bolts and the Allen keys. And there is some instructions, but uh, you know what I'm like, I don't read instructions. Right, I'm back and um, excited to see my chair going up. Well, at least it's the right colour. Yeah, what's it like? Oh yeah, that's a nice material. So I don't want them to use instructions for the <laughs> I'm going to say, I thought I'd be back and it would up and everything. I thought it'd be a two minute job. It would have been, but they've got two bolts per leg. Right, so Nick's just doing that. I am just making a cup of tea. Oh yes, please. And a nice chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. Let's have a look what we've got in our... Um, we've got skinny whips, skinny whips, skinny whips, and more skinny whips, and a delicious peanut butter oat bar. Um, the oat bars are... They need more peanuts. They're not like crunchy peanuts. Well, I'll have a, I'll have a skinny whip. I um, the oat bar, actually. You love the oat bar. There you go. It's looking a bit bare, is the um, snack cupboard, which is a good thing, actually. Right, excuse the mess in here because we're just washing and changing bedding. But let's have a look. At Looks this. nice. Matches the colours of things. Well, almost. Let me get in. It's yeah. very sturdy, isn't it? Like really solid it. chair. And it should do with the amount of bolts in it. It's got eight bolts in it just for the legs. £59 was it from Amazon? Matches the legs, well, almost. Um, yeah, it was fifty nine ninety nine. It was cheaper for that colour than the others. I think we're about sixty five. It's just a shame you've got white things on the desk that well, nothing know, matches. You said you're going to make me a riser. I can make you a riser once you decide the depth that you want. Is it cockeyed? What the chair? Yeah, like I don't is it start. higher there than it is there? Hold that. Can you see? <laughs> well, maybe a little, but that's just needs like weight in it to settle it. I'm sure your fat ass will um, rebalance it anyway. Well, you can't move the legs any longer at one side. I mean, they, I have left the padding on here by mistake. I'd already tightened it, but that shouldn't make it rise much. Right, well, I've got a thumbnail to do, so uh, move out way and I'll, I'll try it. Can you see that? Oh yeah, why have you done that? Because I sealed it before getting it off. So it is underneath it, but it's underneath it everywhere, so it shouldn't make any difference. Mm. 
Right, I'll have a sit down and uh, do a little uh, a thumbnail and stuff. Very pleased with that chair. I'll put it in our, in our Amazon storefront if you need a, a new office chair. It's perfect, it's very sturdy. And I think it's a good price, that $59.99, I think it was. They had different colours like browns, I think reds, blues and stuff like that. If you wanted like a full set, there was like discounts for full yeah. set. Yeah, oh, alright, okay. Uh, well, we actually sat on those kind of chairs when we went out with our friends the other day to... Um, um, Manicot when we went to the challenge, we were sat on chairs and we're like, this is the chair that I want for my office. So we Google lensed it. So Nick Google lensed it. It's not the exact one, but it's like it's pretty damn basically the same thing, but not not quite the same thing. But I really uh, like that. Look at the sun now. I'm not sure well, you can see it there. It. But the end is what time time is it? About five o'clock, six o'clock, and old, um yeah. as usual, the best weather is now. So you may have seen on a recent vlog, uh, we were fitting a, a security CCTV camera outside, which a company called Reolink kindly sent us. And um, they've seen that video and we worked with them and they emailed us and asked us if we wanted to try another product, another CCTV camera, this time one which has got a solar powered feature to it. So no cabling to wire No it. cabling, which sounds great to us because everything we do has got cables. So we said, yeah, of course, we'd love to try it. And Nick is going to show you it now. So I've been trialing these for the last few days. So this is the solar panel. You can buy just the camera on its own. You can buy the solar panel on its own, or you can buy them as a, a, as a pack. Uh, if you check out the description below, there's links to um, these cameras and how you can buy them. So I'm going to show you them individually. So effectively, we said we wanted it as a replacement for our Blink camera there. Uh, because Blink and other people like Ring have now started to charge subscription. So if you want to have your recordings recorded, they start to charge you. And with, that's just getting ridiculous. You buy the camera, then you've got to pay to use it. Not doing that. So these guys don't do that. You can put an SD card in it. You can upload it to the cloud. You can upload it to an FTP server, whatever. So once you buy this, you set up your own sort of cloud storage or whatever and then uh, put an SD card in it and then you can access it on the app and then download it on the app. So I'm gonna show you the camera. So it's a little bit bulkier than that one and the battery on it is like a phone battery. It'll last a few days. So I have had these out of the box but I've put them back in just to show you what you actually get in the box. So as we say, the best thing about it is no wires. You yes. don't have to plug it in. And it uses the same app as the outside one works yes. as well. Right, so this is the camera. It looks like a little robot. Yeah, it does. So it has two <laughs> lenses. One is a widescreen and one is a normal. So you can actually switch it in the app. Um, it's got two LED lights, so it can act as a floodlight as well. And um, you actually turn it on by unscrewing this little compartment at the back, and that's where the SD card goes as well. And then that is where you plug the USB in. You can either USB connect it to a fixed power supply, or you can connect it to the solar panels. So I'll quickly open the solar and show you what you get. It so reminds if you mount me. This outside, you can actually mount the solar panel near to the camera on the roof. So more instructions, and it's a, quite a robust, it's not glass, it's like plastic. It reminds me of Starlink, does that? It does actually look a little bit like Starlink. I wish it did actually get that light. <laughs> so you mount this, and we are thinking about putting these on the van by side mounting that onto the um, solar panels that we've got, and then putting this on this little stand here, which clips on like, this, hold on. Now the guys at Rio Link did say that it's not vibration proof, so they, they don't recommend it in the van, but yeah. we will actually be using it when we're actually driving. It's just for when it's we're at park ups, when we're if we need to have a look outside, see what's going off. So the plan will be that it's mounted like that on the edge of the van. This bit here will screw to the side of the solar panel and the camera can tilt down over the edge and it's a widescreen view, so it will get it all down the one side of the van. And then um, we're, going, we're possibly gonna get another one for the other side of the van that does the other side. Mm -hmm. So we'll have, with the dash cam, we'll have 360 degree cameras. It's just another security feature that we've added to the van and we have put loads of security in there. We've got deadlocks, we've got hidden safe, we've got uh, immobilizer, we've got tracker, we've got crook locks, we've got, um, what else? All sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff, anyway. So this is just one of the, the latest things. We're not, we're not paranoid, but we've just watched enough videos to say that this yeah. obviously, and when we've been, uh, on on the van trips, and we heard noises outside. We'd be like, we've been turning what, the lights, what's up, going peeking off? out the curtains. With this, this wouldn't have to. Easier. It also would be great as well because Lee wanted me to fit on the side of the van after we built it yeah. a side light. Well, I saw somebody with a side light when we were out in a car park. Well, to be week. fair, Taylor One had a side light. Yeah. So this serves as that purpose as well. Yeah. So it's perfect. So we've had it running for a few days, and we've had the solar panel, which just comes with a fairly long lead, connected to the USB on the camera here. 
and it actually lasts. Uh, it, the, the battery in the camera lasts a couple of days without any kind of charge. With that in, it just keeps, every time you get a, a sun cycle, it keeps the battery topped up and keeps it charged. Since we've had this running for the last few days, I've not charged it at all. It was 77% when it came out of the box. It runs at about 95 with the solar. And you don't have to tilt it towards the sun. You can stand it like that. And as long as it's getting some, mm -hmm. um, some light, I noticed on the panel as well, they're like little reflectors. So no matter which angle the sun hits it from, it will still redirect it onto the, the solar cells behind. I guess you don't have to have it on the stand either. You could just no, well, if hook we, that up onto if like a wall or something. We may even just glue with Sikaflex this straight to the van roof. But like, if you do it on a house, down. let's have a look on the other side. If you do it on a house, you can just put that somewhere flat. You can stick it to on a roof, wall yeah. or something. Or, or you can or put that on it and tilt yeah. it sideways because it's like a 360 degree stand. Um, you can you can point it. Hold on, let me get it back on. You can point it like that, like that, like that, and then just rotate it around wherever you want it. But obviously, straight up, that's where the sun's going to be every day. So uh, so there we go. So in terms of the functionality on it, I will show you in the app now what it looks like. Right. So as you can see, we've got the current cameras on the app, and we've also got the new camera, which is called Argos Track. It's a, a Rio Link Argos Track camera. So we click connect, uh, it accesses the camera. There we go, live stream, and we can use, it's, again, it's robotic, so you can rotate. You can rotate, you can go up, you can go down. So if you imagine that's over the end of the van, it will actually show you anybody walking at the side of the van here. Um, tilt the camera up. Now, if you notice that the stand actually has like a tilt on it anyway, so it's meant for pointing down. And then if you want that, that's like a zoomed in view. If you want to see um, a widescreen view, let's just load there. Oh, sorry, the other ones with the widescreen, this one is the zoomed in version. So you can basically tilt down and you can pinch and zoom as well. So you can actually see, um, and you can choose whether you want it to display in high resolution or whether you want it in, so that's currently low. We can set it to high resolution, like that. And you've got all the same features that you had on the other camera. So you can um, you can talk to it. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Oops. hello, hello. There we go. Hello, now set it into a loop. There we go, stopped it. There we go, stopped it. Stop, stop, stop. stop, stop. That's just because we're at the side of it. Yeah. So you can see there that the battery is at 91%. Uh, you've got all the options for PIR motion detection, camera recording on, push notifications, FTP, uh, email alerts. You can even put the siren on, so hold on. There we go. So if anybody comes near your van, you can set it, or your house, you can set it off to um, put the siren on. You can share it with family members if they have their own account. You can record time lapse. So maybe we're in the van and we want to do a time lapse of the sun coming up if we're facing the right way. We just set that there. Um, all in all, it's a fantastic camera, and the, the, the whole range of cameras really is... Um, oh, let me just stop that recording. So, so there we go. Gonna... So all the description, all the details are in the description below, uh, and any discounts that are applicable at the time that you watch the video, we'll pop them in as well. But um, highly recommend that. Definitely love this range of products. And they do all sorts of other sort of CCTV cameras and security tech cameras as well, so check out their own website as well. And speaking of the van, are we going to go and have a look at the fly screen? Yes, I'm dreading this. Let's have a look if this fits. So thank you to our lovely friend, Julie, who has sewed this for us. And thank you to my mum who sewed things for us as well. Right. How are we going to do this? You want me to put it up like uh, that? Yeah, get your end on first. And then follow it on like that. And if we can get the top on, we can then move the sides. So it, it fits there. And then it kind of goes round the door. Is yours fitting? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Right, hold on. Now let me go outside because... What's it going to fit on the bottom? Uh, it's not. It's got weights in it to keep it oh, yeah, yeah. down. Yes! <laughs> We've got a fly screen, yes! yes. You've not put it on here. Eh? Oh, it's come off then, I did. The tape. It's come it's the off tape a little that's bit. Come off. So there we go. So there are weights in the um, 
in the bottom. In the bottom. But we might get another a lack of Velcro tab for this bit here. Yeah, and because then, um, I'm sure just so just to hold it together. Yeah, I'm not liking this at the bottom. Well, what do you want to do? Put a little bit more Velcro on the bottom somewhere. Just you can't. They can get in there. Velcro sewing on. They can get in there. Yeah, you, any fly screen, they're going to get in underneath cracks. Like there's gaps here that they can get in. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously today it's windy. Get rid of that stupid. Well, floor. that can um, when you're inside, that can be put on there as well. Yeah. So, so you're going to have gaps. It's not going to be 100 percent foolproof, but it's pretty damn good. Very good. There we go. Fly screen. How easy is it to get in and out? Let's have a look. Just Let's have a look. look out. And it should snap back together. I mean, like I said, it's windy. So you can barely hold it together now. Yeah, well, these that little bit is good to... Yeah. It, it keeps it... Perfect. And you don't lose any of the, the door light. light. No. Another good job done. Cinders has come out of her office, aren't she? Yes, to do some more housework. Well, I'm just trying on my new top that I got from Primark today. Because Didn't even intend to buy a new top. What Nick really needed is another T-shirt. It's Yes, but it's a special one. It's a Disney t-shirt. It was seven quid from Primark. Maybe a little bit tight, actually. I did get medium. Maybe you could just use it as, like, pyjamas. I'll drink into it. Yeah, right. Yeah, but it's all right, that, for seven quid. Mm -hmm. And it's a proper Disney brand of merch. I need to take the label off now, I'm keeping it. Time for some food. And we are having corn with vegetables and some egg noodles, noodles. is it? And a sweet chilli sauce. Yeah, it's very nice. I'm going to put these in now. Go for it. must say I'm hungry and looking forward to this. Welcome to the next day. Just waiting on it getting ready as usual. Uh, we've got lots to do today. We are heading back home way. Um, going out for lunch with my parents. Uh, seeing the girls when they finish school. And uh, we are buying Starlink from Costco today. For the off For the off -ends. It's on half price today. We were waiting for a Generation 3 dish, but it don't look like it's coming anytime this year. Generation 3 dishes are flat dishes on a little tilting thing at the back rather than a pole. Um, it don't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. So while the offer's on, we might as well just grab one of the dishes. Mm. With Costco, it's 225 quid and you get two months free. And it's £85 a month roaming. So you d your hardware's about 20 quid. Yeah. So uh, we've called up. We've got one saved. They only had two left. Um, so we're going to get that. It's back over in Leeds. Um, there's no Costco over here, unfortunately. And we've got another piece of equipment for the van that we're collecting today as well. Yeah, so we'll show you that later. Um, so it's nice and sunny, it's gonna be a, a whopping nine degrees today. But the sun's out, so who cares? But the sun's out. So are you ready to go? Uh, yes, oh, we I'll, need to. Don't forget that voucher, what we got for your birthday. We're gonna go to Pizza Express for lunch. I've lost my wallet. Uh, mom, double check I've got it. My mum got Nick a uh, voucher for his birthday for there, so we're, we'll go there, because it's close to an uh, Argos, where we are collecting um, a piece of equipment Do it for the van. Right, we're on his way. We have got one hour, six minutes until we meet his dad at Costco. I was just talking last night and Lee just said, did you wake me up last night and tell me I sounded like a horse? Yes, I bloody well did. It just came back to me. Because it, was, it wasn't just snoring, it was going burr, burr. after about 10 times I nudged him and, and, I said, and I basically said, wake up, you sound like a horse. Can't help what you do when you're asleep, can you? Well, yeah, you can lay on your back or your side or something like that instead of like breathing like you're like a, a wild boar eating, a ha eating an apple. Like I say, like I say, you can't help what you do while you're asleep. You don't know about it. And imagine what you're going to be like on a campsite when you're snoring. It echoes through a metal tin van. Can't help They'll it. They'll be banging outside that van saying, "Stop your snoring." We've arrived. Our Starlink is in there that's gonna get us onto the internet when we do our traveling. Fingers so good. with Costco at the minute, they have an offer on 224 pound and two months free. Um, so, and it's 85 pound a month for the Rome package, which was what we're gonna need for Europe. So in effect, it's gonna cost us about 30 pound for the hardware, which is an absolute bargain. Um, we have been looking at this for quite a while and waiting for like the Gen 3 dishes, but they're not gonna to come to the UK anytime soon. 
and um, we and they may use a lot of power, don't they? The they do. They use twice as much power. This one's quite power hungry, so we'll only have to have it on when we need to do uploads, and then just use as mobiles for day-to-day -day, like WhatsApps and things. So at some point, I might convert this dish into a flat dish. There's mounts you can buy off Etsy, which will allow you to convert it, but you have to cut the back off with a saw uh, and then seal it into like a cassette and then mount it to the roof, which I don't like the sound of, but. I have to test it first, flat mounted, like spragged over a chair to see, oh my God, the petrol's cheap here. Oh, we, need to, we need to fill the van up here when we go on our trip. It's about 10 pence a litre cheaper, 145 for diesel here. Uh, right, so we're here, we're gonna go in and we're gonna meet Lee's mum and dad who are in here as well. They're shopping, they've been in for ages. Yeah, love the idea of that. Download the Hertz app, unlock the vehicle and just drive off. That's amazing. From Costco. Yeah. Right, we're in Costco. Here's the uh, one of the drones that we thought about getting, um, but it's not the pro version. But it doesn't it, have the sensors. If you, be fine. Yeah, if you don't need the pro version, it's a very good value here. Four hundred and fourteen pounds ninety nine. So plus VAT. We just switched memberships to executive, uh, which means you get two percent cash back. With, they've given us a voucher because his dad referred us, so that's ten pound off. We'll get two two percent back on the. Um, Starling. We got a free slice of pizza. Free slice of pizza. So we've already made the money back on the difference between a standard membership and an executive. Never mind anything we spend in the next year. And this is what we've come for. They did have two left. Oh, and there's the one. And so there's this, one safe for us. So this is going to be. It's £189.99 plus two months subscription as well. And yeah, that's the aerial. Uh, that's what we've got to put outside the van. So 190 quid worth of subscription for yeah. 227 quid. So it's 30 quid for the hardware. It's that's not too fun. heavy. We can get these magnetic things, yeah. clip onto the bottom, and then they clamp to the van roof, yeah, so you can good. have it on your van. But in effect, that will be in a plastic box, and you need to cut all this off. Maybe yeah. we'll wait a few months for that. Yes, I definitely think so. Oh my goodness, look at all this. So dangerous, this place. I know. What have we done? <laughs> what have we done? If we're having a barbecue, it'll be perfect. I think we're going to go for this. That, uh, looks, uh, that looks delicious. Chicken street taco kit. Why not? Why not? Put it in. And the uh, Cascadia kit. They look good. What's this? Oh, dirty wedges. I thought it were a nice salad. Oh my god. <laughs> no, you can't even see wedges. Oh, look at them chicken gyros, Nick. What? Chicken, chicken gyros. gyros. Oh. £20. They look well nice and all. I know. Stuffed full of filling. I know. Real barbecue ribs. That's so There's too much. Oh my god. That looks like a nice salad. And sushi. I like sushi, do you? Yeah. Costco's a dangerous place. We've got a Starlink. We've got some food that we're going to take away in, in the uh, camper van. We even fit your bleeding fridge. <laughs> well, I don't know, yeah. Well, friggin' hell, it's a busy day at Costco. Look at the queue. The tills are right down there. It's like being in Walmart on Christmas Eve. We also got um, half a Costco. <laughs> we tried this, and we I'm sure we've had something similar. We did have it years ago. The years ago, version. and um, it's they had it on some dumplings, um, like Chinese dumplings, and uh, it's very nice. Yeah, it's going to have this. Right, My dad's had one. And he says it's very hot. It's an olive, a hot chili olive. Is it hot? I took the chili out and all, but bleeding out. You won't be wearing any of them then. That'll cure the cold. And uh, here's our uh, Pizza Express. <laughs> so we've got a free it's slice like a, of pizza like a, each. Literally like a car tire. <laughs> um, for referring a friend. We got it off my dad's. So we're going to have this into the Bella right. Italia. Like uh, slice Pizza Express. Oh. Oh. Uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. How is it? Oily. There's no napkins. Those are usually $1.99 per slice. Good value. Absolutely delicious. Successful little Costco shop there. So yeah, my dad is already a member and he referred us. We were already a member years ago. Years and years and years ago. Um, but he referred us as a new person, which got us both a £10 voucher each and a slice of pizza each. And those pizzas, are slice of pizza are massive, so we're like, well, let's not bother with Pizza Express then. Um, my mum got a, a fresh cooked chicken. We're going to have some of that when we get back to their house. And she talked us into getting uh, an executive, executive, yes, executive member. individual member. She was very a good saleswoman. She might like, you might as well, you might as well. We're like, well, we don't really want it. She goes, you get 2% cash back on everything you buy. And if you don't, um, get up to the amount 
of an individual the membership, difference the cost difference, so you can just get refunded on your next renewal. renewal. We're like, well, don't really go to Costco that much, but we might do as we're going through Europe in the van and stuff and around the UK. Well, apart from that, the diesel and petrol is really cheap, and, and we've we still want, got to get the tyres for yeah, the van, and they're really cheap. Really cheap, and the fit them and the balance of me and everything. So we thought, oh, go on then. Um, and also, we got some stuff for the camper trip. We've not actually mentioned it, I don't think. We are actually going away tomorrow. Official van life starts tomorrow. Which is going to be on the next vlog. Uh, we've got our destination in mind. And we thought, oh, we'll get a few bits and bats of food um, to take with us as well. Um, the first stop is an unusual one, and we'll, we'll be meeting somebody there. Yes. So, oh, hopefully. Uh, uh, if all goes to plan, yeah. Well, we'll still be going regardless. Yeah. But. Um, so we're now just nipping up to an Argos before we go to my mum's. Uh, we have something saved there, which is for van life as well. Uh, and for the vlogs, we'll show you that when we pick that up. So um, it's a right tech, a new tech day in it today. We need to open that Starlink when we get to my mum's, just to have a look at it, make sure it's all okay. Um, it, if you've not seen our vlogs previously, Starlink is satellite internet. Which we're going to need for Europe. So that we can upload our vlogs as we're going around. Um, if we go down to Cornwall and stuff, the signal's not always great. When we went last time with my sister in the van, we had no signal whatsoever. I don't know how I managed to upload the vlogs back then. Because I had to buy a page, you go three sim, didn't I? Yeah. And so then it's the only way to get access. When we go to Europe, because we're not in Brexit anymore, you don't get free roaming etc or very fast roaming so we've got Starlink and it should allow us to continue uploading vlogs without any problems what you better do right we've picked up our next um, thing the drone so we can get some nice shots when we're out and about you're flying it right we're just at my mum's Nick's just checking out the Starlink making sure everything's there in the box well, there's plenty of dirt on it but I think it's mould actually from where it's been in storage. Mm -hmm. Just needs a clean up, but everything looks like it's intact. So we'll pop that back. We'll test that out when we get back to the lodge. Right, we are on our way back home. The sun has come out. It's just been raining. Now the sun's come out. It's just been hailstoning. Um, so for anybody in the UK at the moment, um, you'll know that that's just the kind of weather we're having in the UK. Hailstoning one minute, beautiful blue sky the next minute. Sun's out, then wind and blah, blah, blah. And then snowmen. Um, what is it? Well, what? And then snowmen. Yeah, eight, be next it's thing. only eight degrees though. It does look beautiful out at the moment. So we're heading back to the lodge. We'll get there at 10 past six, which means we'll have a few hours to grab some food food we're gonna have some of that stuff we had from Costco and then do a few chores we've got to pack up the van for a around about a two week trip um, make sure we know where we're going on that trip although there will be some times where we just go and we don't know where we're going until we get there I think we're gonna struggle you know struggle there's well. so many things that, that we've got to do we've got to sort out Starlink uh, Nick can do that while I've got I'm to drill a hole stuff. in the floor in the van to get the cable Starlink. through We've got to look at the drone and just set that up. Charge it. Yeah, we've had drones before, but... We've got PTSD. They always give Nick anxiety because um, <laughs> we crashed a couple of them. Um, Wait a minute. No, 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 there's a story to that. So years and years and years ago, just as we'd started vlogging, uh, I don't like think we've got, we've got the vlog, we bought a Phantom... A very, very massive, large drone. It sounded One like a half helicopter. thousand pounds it was. And we were like, yeah, we want a drone for the channel, blah, 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 blah. We started, Nick took it up into the sky. No, 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 we didn't. We didn't, that was the first drone. That was... Yeah, that's what we're talking about, the Phantom. We, we had it in the field, we turned it on, we took off and it was hovering. And I had the control, I had me tablet, which was, which was used the for the controller. And I was just cleaning my phone screen not, not to do with the the, the the drone, and it started getting errors from on the tablet saying compass error, and it set off. It was in it was in beginners mode, so it stopped it from actually mo moving away from your area, and it ignored all that, and it actually went away from us 45 miles per hour and slammed into a tree, and it went into at least a hundred pieces of white plastic. It just crunched, and well, you like, could just oh hear the noise. God. One and so, a half thousand pounds. It's given me drone PTSD. And it actually turned out, DJI confirmed, we had to send it off and stuff, confirmed that it had a compass error. That actual unit had a compass error. Had a fault. So they were like, do you want a refund or do you want a, a new one? And we're like, refund we please. So away. then anyway, anyway, we got a small one then, a DJI. <laughs> Spark. Spark, which was a lot better, but it still went wrong and stuff. Well, and we, were, we were scared to use it. And then when we, took, when we went to Cornwall with the girls, the girls, we've just been watching the videos with them actually. Um, it crashed, it did the same again. It, it went, did exactly it the same the again on a beach and started heading towards the rock face, but this time I recognised it and reacted quickly and managed to 
to use the control coil to plunge it into the sand. After that, we basically uh, we traded it in through MPB, didn't we? Got, got yes. rid of it. So as we were getting back to doing some van trips, I really wanted a drone. We both wanted a drone because we we watch van lifers all the time, and they we love the drone shots they do. So we went for hopefully the best one this time, the DJI Mini. For Pro, <clears throat> yeah, with the controller and the screen, it's got built its in. own controller and it's got obstacle detection all the way around. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, this one will be a lot better and it won't end up crashing into a tree. Um, <clears throat> so we'll let you know how we get on with that, and you'll hopefully see some drone shots as we get on our way. So, good look at that tonight, get it all charged up, uh, update the firmware, blah blah blah. Um, pack, I hope it doesn't make that to say, do, 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 do. no, it doesn't, it doesn't make a different sound oh, now. Thank God for that. Um, I've got to finish a little bit of editing and then we've just got to. You know, pack all those toiletries, any food that we're going to take, and um, in the morning, Nick wants to just wash the van. We like to wash it before we go away so it looks nice that and clean. Um, we just then, priced up the new tyres on Costco as well, haven't we? Oh yeah, from from Costco. Yeah, the woman said if you want some new tyres, we're cheap with fitting and stuff, and we're like, oh, we'll have a look at that, and they are actually cheaper because we need new tyres for when we're going to Europe. Yeah, like what we call all terrain tyres. Uh, all terrain tyres. We don't need them. But they're recommended, aren't but they? But they are recommended. So when I've put in the van reg number into the Costco website and looked it up, the tyre that we were going to get, which was a Michelin Agilis Cross Climber, which is exactly what we need, it basically came up at like £40, £40 cheaper? Pound cheaper per, per tyre. tyre. And plus they charge an £8 fitting fee. So Which we'll save a couple of hundred quid doing that. Yeah, so that's good. So if you want petrol, tyres, stuff like that, check out Costco. Or Starlink. Or Starlink. Or lots and lots of food. Lots and lots of food. It's nice just to go around and have, have all the testers as well. We're having those today. Yeah. Right, get us back to the lodge. Lee wouldn't, this is, this is frustrating, right? So every time I drive, which is quite a lot, and I said to Lee, just look this up, he says, pull over and I'll drive. He hates looking stuff up, I but yeah, if it's stuff for like Callum Minogue to see what <laughs> pair of knickers she's got on this week, or what, what uh, injections Madonna's had in her ass, he's well up for looking it up. But as soon as I ask him to look something up, to do with either the van or, or anything else. I'll drive, pull over. Now I'll tell the reality so, of the story. Wait a minute, no, no, so no, we no, are no. on our way to so Halford. So I'm going to tell the reality of the story first. Whenever I don't drive, Nick has about 20,000 things he wants me to do on, on my phone. To the, to the point where I'm like, right, I've been on my phone for about an hour looking the stuff up here. I've had enough being on my phone in the car. It makes me feel sick if I look on my phone. But yeah, if he's looking up anything for himself, don't feel sick. So I just prefer to drive and then Nick can sit there and do not, all his jobs. It's not to do that. Who do you believe? Comment below. Mm. Anyway, so we, when we went out in the van, um, we took it to Hull the other day to get the wrap bits fixed and the locks and the other bits for the Halfords. It was raining as it's been raining for a lot and the windscreen wipers were driving us nuts, squeaking on the windows. Um, I meant to order them from Amazon, but I forgot. So I've just ordered them from Halfords. So we've just got them, we're gonna pick them up now in Beverly on the way back. Um, so that's what I wanted him to look up. Just simply look up the price of two wiper blades from Halfords, eighteen pound ninety four. Got double that was point. About the sixth thing. No, I wasn't. To do. What was the other things? Do this. Put this on to do list. What? Put this on to do list. Put that on to do list. Do this. You do mean that. like you do were this. doing when we were on his way home? Add this to do list. Whatever. Anyway, to we're going to get it, and I got double the point. I always forget to use shops away when we're buying stuff. Um, we got the drone. I got almost ten thousand points for the drone by signing up for um, the Argos. Um, like an Argos account online. Usually I just use guest checkout. Anyway, I've created an account. 10,000 points for that. Eleven and uh, Another 1,500 for using the Virgin credit card. And then I've just paid, uh, I've got 36 points, which is bugger all really, just for buying two wiper blades because it's double the points at Halfords at the minute for every one pound you spend. All these points is fine, but we're not actually flying anywhere. Yeah, we are. We have a van. We're going to, we're going to California next well, year. Well, yeah, next, 2025, yeah. We're going to Florida this year. When we're flying and we're flying economy and you're saying, um, oh, my back's hurting or whatever, you'll not be saying that when we're getting an upgrade because we've got points, will you? Yeah, I'll let you. Yeah, exactly. Somebody's got to think about these things. Got them. Done. Ready for rain to start so we can test them properly when we get back. 
So um, let's have a look how he, easy these to, there was like, do you want to fit them? I'm like, well, you could if I were here, but. So they do not look like the ones that are on the van. Mm. And they don't look long enough. Hmm. Well, I don't know until we get van. Well, what did you see when we get back? Oh, well, the fitting clips are there. Back in the lodge, it's raining again. Joy. Um, I'll just show you what we got today at Costco. Um, we're we're going to take these um, in the van, hopefully. That's the plan, anyway, as long as we actually go, because this weather is just ridiculous. Buffalo it milk. Like this, <laughs> Buffalo milk, mozzarella, tomato, and basil um, pasta. Nick got this Italian basil pesto, maybe to put with it, and some sauce with tomato and mascarpone. We got a salad to take with us, and then we could just buy some chicken or something, uh, steak, whatever, and put that with it. I showed you this sauce. We are going to take that in the van with us, if that'll actually fit in the cupboards. And then we got this, which I am going to do now. A street taco kit. So is that cooked chicken or what? Yeah, it's cooked. So what do I do with it? Just put it in microwave? Eat it. Oh, oh, we're just going to have it cold? Warm it up, I might just warm that chicken up in the microwave so we've got warm chicken. And then uh, we're going to have this. I do love Costco stuff that you can get all that so we're um, going to have that while nick just updates the firmware on the drone as the weather is so bad outside nick's just trying styling inside it's not going to work but at least i can get the um router connected and put a password on it yeah. is that bigger than that one we saw last no. week at that park up no you sure it looks longer doesn't it yeah it's not long we haven't got a, like a bigger one have we What's it doing? Trying to calibrate the satellites, I presume. It's trying to pick up something through a window. It's not going to find much. Has it found out? I don't know. I'm waiting for Wi-Fi to come online. So that's the router you get with it. And obviously that then that's the um, satellite dish that you have outside. Or on the top of the van. Oh, Starlink, there we go. To I pick up the uh, internet. So with this satellite internet, you're supposed to have like outside, completely unobstructed views of the sky. Um, so obviously that's not going well, to quite work it. inside, but the weather is terrible outside, so we can't put it outside. The dish is bigger than I thought. It's not. It's fine. That's the right size. Mm. There's only three dishes that they do. Gen 1, which is a round one, Gen 2, which is that, and a Gen 3, which has not got this stand or the motor. Yeah. Successfully paired to Starlink. Right, continue. This is where it says it can't see any satellites. And then I have to create a service, an account, and then send them the Costco receipt to get the two months free. Oh, yeah. it's just crashed. E. Not a good star, Elon. Right, next test. The Starlink route was there, slashing it down outside, and Starlink is out there. So we're just gonna see if we can pick anything up. It's a right hub of um, tech activity in here tonight. That is updating still. Nick's still struggling with Starlink. Just sending him a Costco receipt after getting two months free. They've charged me for the first month. Yeah, that's we knew that. But had I been able to contact support beforehand, they could have applied the credit rather than that. So that's two months now. Once we paid for this, we get three months for free, yeah. basically. Yeah. The dish is out there. It's found the satellites in space. It's showing clear skies. But it says disconnected. Hmm. And it's been that cold outside that the snow mode has come on. So it's trying to like melt the hail and stuff that's going off outside. The, hail, the, sleet, the weather's just crazy. Snow, wind, rain, you name it. The only thing we have got is sun. So when we get off in the van, we'll let you know how that works and give you a full review of that um, on our journeys. Hopefully we'll be going tomorrow. Nick says he didn't want to go if the weather's like this, which I, you know, can totally understand. Tomorrow, yeah, the forecast is supposed to be better though. That's the satellite. Those blue dots means it's clear. So it's talking to a satellite. Is it moving off around? this corner here, up into space. Yeah. Just off this corner. As it sees other satellites, it'll draw like a cone over there. But I've got it so far out there. Um, I think it might have just connected actually. Oh no, it hasn't. It still says disconnected. So we'll work on that and so uh, just keep playing with it. Keep playing it and we'll let you know. So hopefully in the next vlog, we'll be going away using Starlink, using a drone, and um, getting on our way 
um, a little bit further down south we were thinking we we're going to go. So I'm going to finish the vlog. Thank you for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. Hit the subscribe button if you are new around here to see some new um, camper van videos and lodge videos and just our general day-to-day -day life as we share our journey with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of editing while I leave Nick to sort this out. I'm excited to play with myself. Bye. Bye.